Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Edgar with Guardian Arms. You've heard me say this before, I am the face of Guardian Arms, but there's somebody who is just as important and who runs the show now. And uh, while shooting a video today, I realized, hey, uh, this person who happens to be our CEO, uh, you guys might not know that well. So I want to introduce him in this video. I want you guys to get to know the guy who is now running operations who is doing most of the heavy lifting and uh, has taken on the responsibility of the day-to-day -day runnings on the shop side and the business side of Guardian Arms. So let me introduce him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our CEO. Hey everyone, I'm Bruce, as Edgar mentioned. I'm the uh, CEO of Guardian Arms. Started out as a guest to customer a couple years ago. Really enjoyed the business model, the business plan, and the customer service that Guardian Arms offered. And when Edgar gave me the opportunity to come on board and pick up the CEO, it was just something that I couldn't pass up. All right, Bruce, I want to get really personal, deep down, and uh, really, not that you need to be brought out of your shell because you're one witty-ass mofo, but uh, let's get into what makes you tick, all right? Uh, where are you originally from? So uh, I originally was born in Ohio, but I grew up all over the United States. I was a military brat myself, so... Where, what are some cool countries have you lived in? I've lived in Germany, I've been to Spain, been to Italy, um, Korea. <laughs> so you've been in multiple different countries. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite uh, type of food? What region? Uh, I would definitely have to say uh, most Asian foods, especially Thai. So. <laughs> would that have anything to do with your marriage? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, my wife is Thai. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, uh, what um, what makes you what makes you tick, man? What do you what do you host or I'm sorry, what do you find or hold most dearest in your heart? Um, most dear to my heart is, are, are is definitely be my family and uh, my dogs. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my Belgian Malinois, those are my everyday life, especially Corporal. So. Who's Corporal? Corporal is my 16 month old Belgian Malinois service dog. Um, He's almost completed his training, which he's definitely about six to seven months ahead. Um, if you come in the store, you definitely meet Corporal. So, Corporal, uh, I think he's a very friendly dog, but he's very intimidating. <laughs> what um, what got you into guns, man? What uh, what drives your fascination towards firearms? You know, I uh, I got my first gun back. My grandfather got me my first. It was actually a BB gun. I was five years old because he knew that he wasn't going to be around to uh, give me one when I got older. And that fascination just grew from there with my dad. Um, and then, of course, being in the military, being a drill sergeant, that just continued my drive towards firearms, firearm safety. And uh, it just hasn't stopped. So. What, uh, what MOS or what position, for those that don't know what an MOS is, is like a, a specialty. What was your specialty in the Army? I was a 13 Bravo field artillery guy. That's what I started out as. And did that change throughout your time in the service? It did. I tried to be smart and get a desk in an AC unit, and the Army figured out that I knew how to teach combatives. So I spent several years teaching combatives, as well as spent three and a half years as a drill sergeant, um, a drill sergeant leader, teaching other people to be drill sergeants. And then my last, about six years of my career, took me overseas where um, I worked for a uh, company called uh, the Joint United States Military Affairs Group and we did a lot of different special assignments. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, how many years did you serve total? Almost 21. So you retired out of the I military? I retired, yeah. Okay. And, um, and I get my damn 10% off or they'll give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you offer 10% off at Guardian Arms? <laughs> Even though, uh, actually, don't answer that because that's a topic that <laughs> YouTube doesn't like us talking about. Um, okay, let's get into like random stuff. What's, uh, here's a stupid question. What's the sexiest part of an AR, in um, your opinion? In my opinion, would be the uh, muzzle device or a blast mitigation device. You, you like those blast cans, huh? Yeah, I definitely like the blast cans. What's your, what's your favorite type so far that you've discovered? Would be the oppressor. Uh, from Strike Industries? From Strike Industries, yeah. Uh, have you actually tested it and see that it works? 
Uh, I have. Um, I've done it. My entire family, my wife and my son, they're still home. We are all avid fans of the oppressor. And we've actually taken them off our rifles and checked to see what the difference is. Um, not only in the standing position, but also in the prone position to see the differences that it makes. You like seeing the dirt kick up 15 yards do. away? <laughs> uh, what's, uh, what's your favorite type of pistol? Oh, it's going to be the 1911. Ah, oh, Jesus. Has you, to be the you, you had to go there. The, the SIG P320X is actually, I would probably say, my second now. The uh, X Compact you yep. started tricking out? Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, P320X Compact do you like the most? Um, it's comfortable. Uh, that's that's what I look for in a firearm. I, I have a hard time finding a pistol that's actually comfortable in my hand. And uh, as soon as I picked one of those up, it was, yeah, I, I knew I had to have one. What's, uh, what's your, so you, you, before you came on to the team and um, took a leadership position, you built several ARs with us. That's true. What's your favorite AR you've built with us so far? Uh, Baby Phoenix. Describe Baby Phoenix. Uh, five inch, five, five, six AR pistol. You're talking about your little flamethrower you got yes, there? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> I think it's wicked. Uh, it's actually been in a, we might've done a video on it, building it, if I'm not mistaken. I think we did. So if pe people go back, they can find the build video on that. Um, Cool. So 1911, uh, pistol, favorite pistol, Baby Phoenix, the five inch AR. What do you think of Glock? Um, I've got to be honest, I was not a Glock fan. Um, up Gee, until... All the Glock fanboys cringing in the yeah, comment yeah, section yeah, right yeah. now. It's okay. I mean, you know, I, I buy different shirts too. So, but um, when I picked up a 43X, my mindset changed over Glock. Um, that, and I tell everybody that, um, I was not a Glock fanboy. Um, I just couldn't find one that was comfortable. Got a 43X, actually the MOS, um, all Gucci tricked out. And That's how actually, we do it. I actually carried that for over a year as my, as my carry gun. Cool. So yeah, Glock fanboys in the comment section, don't freak out. There is one <laughs> Glock he likes. <laughs> all right, man. Um, let's see, random stuff. Well, Random things about you, what makes you tick. Are you a man of faith? I am, I am. Um, what makes you a man of faith? Um, I think that a lot of that was my upbringing, um, what I've seen during my time in the military. And um, I mean, you know as well as I do, as, as most veterans do, that uh, when you transition from military to civilian life, uh, it can get a little bit rough. And uh, there was a group of uh, guys and, and gals at a, at a biker church, actually, that uh, really picked me up when I was down at my lowest part. So, what um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, so it was Rushing Wind Biker Church in uh, Zanesville, Ohio. And uh, there was a, another veteran, actually, a Vietnam era veteran. And he really dedicated a lot of time to helping me get out of my own personal funk because I didn't know whether I was coming or going after that transition. So many years in the army, I knew what my lane was, and then when I retired, I no longer knew pretty much who I was anymore. That's deep. So yeah, I like that. Thanks for being honest. Uh, what uh, what skills do you have? Uh, what skills or hobbies do you have outside of firearms? So I'm a big fisherman. Um, I'm a big woodworker. Um, I love doing woodwork, fishing. Um, in the winter time, that's when I do most of my woodwork. Um, I tattooed for. Uh, all the time I was in the military, I was actually tattooing on the side because I made more money doing that than being in the army. Did you uh, did you give yourself any tattoos? Um, I did. Um, I did my my right arm. You um, raise it above the AR real quick. So big dragon. That's all. Um, and then I've got some on my legs and stuff like that that I've done myself. But. Tattoos on huh? over twenty years. Are you gonna tattoo me? I am. Fuck yeah. Um, because you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> um, oh, shit. All right. Nah. So, yeah, people know you're witty from the other videos. I guess to, to wrap it up, um, obviously, we can't get to know everything about you in, in a 10-minute time span. But um, another important question I want to ask you is, so you took over uh, a big part of Guardian Arms, and 
uh, this law that Washington State recently came down and smacked you with, or I'd say you, but me as well, and all of the rest of the team. How has that law impacted you, and what do you plan to do about it? Well, it's definitely impacted our revenue. And right now what we're doing is we're going to continue business as usual with what we can have, as well as continue to add new products to the store. Uh, we've added two huge fishing lines, quality fishing lines, as well as some tactical gear. So, and we'll keep growing. How's the, uh, how's the fight going? Uh, right now we're just waiting on it to hit Thurston County. Um, if whoever's following the channel, you know that uh, the case got moved from Grant to Thurston County. Uh, we are in constant contact with the Silent Majority Foundation, and we're just waiting on the next next step from them. Cool. All right, man. Uh, do you plan on giving up that fight? Oh, never, never. All right, man. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, that's all that I have for now. I think uh, our viewers uh, can uh, feel like they know you a little bit better now. If you guys have questions for Bruce, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. We do check it regularly, and we will get back to you. We'll answer questions. But for, for now, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. And Bruce, thank you for interviewing and uh, telling us a little bit about yourself. Definitely. All right, we'll see you on the next one.